Hi, I'm Kevin, and welcome to the channel. I want to give a heartfelt thank you to everybody who's a new subscriber and you've been commenting and sharing and I am just totally grateful for all the great feedback that I've gotten from you. So thank you for all your support. Now let's get into the settings. All this information is in the manual or on the website too, so it's easily accessible. Also, here is the diagram that the company provides to kind of explain it a little bit. So we got this one for the power switch and the headlight and the info pad. And that is where you access the actual settings menu. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But let's run through the display really fast. You can see that's the power button right there, obviously. And within the display, it has the info where you can see the odometer. That has a timer on it. I've never used it, I have no idea. And a tripometer, which I never really use either. <laughs> so, so that's all the info for the odometer settings. Now let's get into the pedal assist. And you can see here it runs through pedal assist one through five. And there in the settings, you can limit that to uh, three speed or five. But we've got it set at the maximum at five. And then you have your speedometer settings where it has an average speed, a top speed, and your regular speed as you're riding. Also, you can see the battery bar at the top up there. I'm sure you all are familiar with this, but I just wanted to be thorough. And so you got the battery bar right there. You have the speedometer, the pedal assist, and the odometer. Now, in order to get into the settings menu, you wanna press the plus and minus button at the same time, just like this. So the first one is for the brightness of the backlighting of the display. Now part two is for uh, changing it from kilometers to miles, which is pretty cool. And then we got three, which is your voltage. Four would be the auto shutdown time. Five would be the different levels of the pedal assist. Now it'll go three to five or zero to one. I tried them all. I really didn't notice that much of a difference. So I just leave it at one and five. Six is your wheel size. And whenever you change the wheel size, it changes the speedometer. Now number seven, I don't mess with it all. It is RPM detect magnetic dots. And I believe that is for the pedal assist sensor. I don't touch it. Number eight is to adjust the speed limit. And I keep that at maximum levels. And so that'll limit the speed to whatever you need it to. But I just keep it at the highest setting it goes just to make sure I got it all there number nine this is enable disable soft start it'll take off a little slower or a little faster depending on the settings number 10 is active riding modes which should be at two number 11 is assist activation sensitivity so that is something you can play around with if you like Number 12 would be the pedal assist intensity. So you can adjust that to how you like it. Now, number 13 is pedal assist magnetic dots, which I do not touch, but that should be at 12. Number 15 is system working current, all electrical parts, just information. Number 16 is enable cruise control. So you can either turn this off or on. 
Number 17 is a weird one. It says clear mileage data, so I don't know if that's a reset on the odometer or what, but we don't mess with that. There is also P18 through 22, but there's nothing, I found no information for those yet. So I have no idea what they do or what they mean, so I don't touch them. The main thing is, is that I don't mess with stuff that I don't know about. So if it's in there and there's not a list or something that tells me what it does, I don't mess with it. And so if you don't do anything for a second, it will automatically save and reset. So then you're just right back to square one. And then and if you want to get back into it, you just hold the, the plus and minus down again and then get back to your settings wherever you were. And that's pretty much it. So if you get any value from this, please leave a like, comment, share. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you here as a subscriber. Let me know if you have any issues or a hard time with all this stuff. I'm just curious to see. And also, let me know if this is actually that helpful. <laughs> I thought maybe it might be a little bit because whenever I go to look this stuff up, it takes me a minute to find it and after I downloaded it and get it on my phone or whatever, you know. So, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of cool to put it in the video and see if y'all liked it or not. So... If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put it down in, in the uh, questions down below. I look forward to all of your comments. Good, bad, or ugly, I don't care. I look forward to a ball. And I just wanted to say thank you for supporting the channel. And we are looking forward to the next video. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.